let's get started by configuring the software and assets you'll use to complete this course. To install Couchbase Server, go to couchbase.com downloads, choose your operating system, and then download and install the assets as required by your operating system. Or if you prefer to work with a containerized instance, visit couchbase.com containers. For this course, you'll install Couchbase Server Enterprise Edition version 5.5 or higher. The workbook will walk you through installing it as a low-impact, single-node cluster running all services with minimal memory configurations. You'll access the admin UI at localhost 8091. You'll set up a new cluster and assign it a name. You'll provide administrator credentials, a host name and IP address, the location for data and index storage, memory quotas for each of the five independently scalable services, and you'll configure your cluster to perform in-memory indexing. Once set up, you'll open the admin UI. Take a look at the dashboard view where you can review cluster-wide statistics, the servers view where you would add, remove, configure, and rebalance nodes within your cluster, the buckets view where you create and manage these top-level data containers that you might prefer to think of as a key space, the XDCR view, where you would configure and control cross data center replication, the security view, where you would configure roles based access control, the settings view, where you configure cluster wide settings such as service memory quotas, alerts, auto failover, data compaction, as well as deploy sample data, the logs view, to filter and view log data and collect diagnostic information. The Documents view, where you can flexibly filter and find and even edit individual documents. The Query view, where you will spend most of this course building and running nickel queries. The Search view, where you would configure full-text search indexing and aliases. The Analytics view, where you configure long-running but workload-isolated queries. The Eventing view, where you script business rules to respond to data events and the indexes view where you can examine the structure and state of indexing across all your buckets. Adding a bucket is easy. Click Add Bucket and then specify the name, the per node memory quota, the type, whether that is a persisted couch base bucket, a non-persistent in-memory ephemeral bucket, or a more limited cache. Then you'll set your replica count up to three Remembering that replicas never reside on the same node as their active document, so you must have more nodes in your cluster than your chosen replica count. Then you can choose your XDCR conflict resolution method, your document ejection strategy, bucket priority, and if you wish, bucket specific compaction settings, overriding the cluster wide defaults. Last, you can choose to allow data in this bucket to be purged, which is useful during development, but Probably a bad idea in a production system. Loading a bucket is similarly easy. Couchbase Server has released a powerful new data import tool, CB Import. It supports multi threaded import of either JSON or CSV data from multiple different source formats. It also supports custom key generation, allowing you to define the ID to be assigned to each document by pattern, including data extracted from each document. You'll walk through creating and loading a bucket from a set of JSON documents in the lab ahead. Creative folks might play around with CSV or JSON data that you have lying about, too, once you see how all this works. You've likely heard someone from Couchbase say by now that Nickel is SQL for JSON. But how can you play with it outside of our SDKs? Well, Nickel queries can be developed and tested in the query workbench within the UI. This tool supports code highlighting, schema introspection, visual query plans, query history, and the export of both query statements as well as query results. This course will focus heavily on using Query Workbench, so you'll have a lot of time to play with it. But due to our memory-first architecture, Nickel relies on indexes for all data access. You cannot run a Nickel query without at least a primary index in place for a bucket to support a full bucket scan where necessary. So, to perform ad hoc queries during development, you'll need to create a primary index for your bucket. You can do so using this syntax, just create primary index on a target bucket. Now, doing this allows queries to be developed and run based on any value in any document, provided the index service and the bucket are available. 
Now, if any bucket or field name contains special characters, just use backticks to escape that term as you see on the slide. Now, as with any index, though, there is maintenance overhead. So the primary index would normally be dropped on production machines to reduce index maintenance load. We've got a lot of hands-on work for you in this particular course to help your learning, along with numerous demonstrations to inspire you to play around on your own. Now, to get at the labs and sample data for this course, download the workbook and data files from the introduction lesson in the learning management system. That's the lesson before this one. Extract the data files to your desktop and just follow the workbook steps for each lab. So what have you learned here? Now, Couchbase is easily installed locally for learning purposes. We support all major operating systems as well as Docker. Each Couchbase node exposes six services, data, indexing, search, query, eventing, and analytics. This course focuses on the query service. Buckets are key spaces for uniquely keyed documents, which can be replicated to additional nodes for durability. Now, either JSON or CSV data can be quickly loaded from multiple different underlying formats, generating unique document keys in the process. For development and testing, Nickel queries can be built and run in either the query workbench or you'd also find a command line tool called CBQ. And due to our memory first architecture, a primary index must be built to perform ad hoc queries which may rely on a full bucket scan for their results. The syntax to create or drop primary indexing is straightforward. Now in this lab, you're going to ensure you've got Couchbase installed, create a bucket, load data using CB import, create your primary index, check things out a little bit, and install any other tools you might need. In the next lesson, it's time to begin learning how much you actually already know about Nickel. Because, like we say, it's SQL, but for JSON. Stick around.